Welcome back to my single player world on Vintage Story. This is a bit of a mixed episode where I do a bit of uh, managing of the chickens, a little bit of feeding of the animals, tiny bit of building and a little bit of learning to chiseling. And then I try to find a place where I can mine deep and find a ruin I thought I'd lost. I hope you enjoy it. Look guys, sunset over the desert. Gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous as the world turns red. And I think that having this acacia wood when you're living in a desert with the colours like this is absolutely beyond stunning. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right. I'm going to do some harvesting. Now I've heard that if you pickle soybean you can actually eat them. So this is pickled soybean and it leaves you with 22 litres of brine. You can eat it. Excellent! And I think think that soybean counts as protein yes it does that's really good outside temperature 10 degrees at 10 o'clock at night so I'm left with 22 liters of brine so I could put 11 more vegetables in there I think um, let's just see if that would work or whether it has to be a full barrel I'm not sure 22 liters of brine after 14 days of sealing. Seal. Right, let's try it. Okay. That's useful to know about the soybeans. Right, I've got a lot of chickens in here and I want to move them up. So I'm going to start by putting some more soil down here. Just bit by bit, we will get them. Now, if I move this, yeah, you guys can come up on block, I know. And let's put some grain in there. There you go. Yeah, I want them just one down, actually. So let's get some grain in there. Good. Now, oh, I can't get down there. Come on. That's it. Go on, rooster. Move. Oh, we've got another chick in there too. Yes, you got there. Right, let's get this chick out if we can. Come on, chicken. Come on, chickadee. Come on. Come on, move. You're meant to run away from me. It's not helping. Um... Now we have to be really careful here that they don't climb out. And I think they'll climb out from that one. It's too, too close to the fence. So we'll put it back here in the middle one. Oops. OK. 
Okay. Now you're all down here again, aren't you? Come on. All of you go out. Yeah, you as well. Come on. You are a useless chicken. Now, can you get out of there? I suspect you might be able to. I'm not going to take many chances with this lot because chickens glitch out everywhere. Yeah, we'll put another gate in there. Are you two still stuck down here? Yes, you are. And now I've got two chicks down here. Wonderful. All right, let's come out of here. I think what I need is to go down below from here and push them out. Ah! I don't want a fox to get in here, but are they all out? They are. Excellent. Yeah, they're all in that corner because I'm over here. Nice. Now you can go away from the gate. Come on, all of you. You included. Good. We've got them up at ground level, and I must not forget to take away this. Right, we have a design fault. Chicks are getting stuck down there. All right. Let's... I've I'd gone too far with that fencing. Yeah, that looks right. Go away from the gate, guys. I know it's where you want to be, but it's not going to happen. It's really weird, guys. My dummies are normally further over. They've actually moved from here. They were on either side of the path. This one's moved onto the path. This one's over here. Yeah, you may well look like that. My goodness, I would feel like that too. So my dummies have moved. This world is actually glitching quite a lot at the moment. And I think that one of the reasons it's glitching is that I've been playing on it so long and much of it was generated a long time ago. Look at my iron fence in passing. And I think that when the 1.14 um, update comes out, I will be starting a new world, I think. I don't think I've got a choice on this. I think I'm at the end of what this world can do. I don't know how this will go, guys, but I decided to try to do a little bit of chiselling. So I just want to 
think about this. Um, And I had some very good advice to just do something simple to start with. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Oops. Got to turn it to a chiseled block first, of course. And I thought I would just do two simple blocks here. Right, now that's not much, but it adds a level of detail to that wall that wasn't there before. Now the only thing I do wonder, does it affect the back where I've got my tools? It does not. It does not. So I think my route into learning to chisel is going to be chiseling some of these very nice patterns. And I think that's the way forward. So it's a very, very good advice. Thank you very much. Sarah, I think it was you that said start with something simple. And that is good advice. Until you know what you're doing. I like that. I like that a lot. And then let's do the same pattern. Yeah. Just in the interests of a bit of fine detailing and picking up the same detailing all the time. I think. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a difference, and at the other end, of course. Um, let's do F. I'm doing this, I mean, fours is good because it's a 64 block. Let's have a look at that. Wow. That's pretty spectacular just for a, what, a minute's work chiseling? Just giving the tool racks a little bit of detail at either end. Very, very nice. Now, obviously, on this side, we won't do that because we've got tool racks all the way along. But it does pick up in here where I just had two blank blocks. That's really nice. Now, obviously, one could do something a lot more special here. But I do wonder about some of these other blocks. Can I chisel you? I can. Um, F, isn't it? Yep. All right. I've not chiseled one of these blocks before. They're harder, much harder to see. That's it. So I can chisel. I've got that wrong, haven't I? Yeah, I've chiseled to that edge. They're not the same. So if I want to reverse that, I can easily do it. I'm left clicking start chiseling and then I'm right clicking to reverse what I've done so this would be the better one to start with okay and then here yeah I've gone too far now does that work it does. How does it look? I'm not actually that keen on it. I think that that's because the uh, texture is pretty good already and I think that this does not add much to it in the way I'm doing it. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't think it adds a lot. Hmm. But I'm going to do the rest. Just in the interest of making it the same. Yeah. Do I worry about the one behind there? You know I've got to. So let's do this one as well. Otherwise I'm not going to be happy and you're not going to be happy. done the same thing nope it's worked there you are everyone is the same put those beautiful loop-ins back yeah and even though you can only see a bit of it yeah it works better on polished stone doesn't it I mean, you can see the indentations here, but it is as nothing compared to the pure polished stone. So I suspect a lot of us are going to be taking out whole... Well, I think it's about time that I sorted out the underneath part of my house over here. Because we've done a lot of building here, but what I need to do... Oh, hello. Come on, then. Let's just see if we can get a gear out of you. Nope, but we'll get some flax. <laughs> right, so under here, I've got an area that I want to hollow out a bit. But I want to make sure that I've got it set up as I want it to be set up. So. That's right. Now I've got some... I'm building this little bit out of peridot. I don't normally build out of peridot, but... I just wanted to build this. There we go. Now I have to be careful here because I can be over the void. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. Right. I want every single bit of grass I can get. Perfect. Now we don't need that top one. And this one now needs to be the peridot. Aha! And we need a lot more stone brick around there. I think I've just about got enough. Which means mining down from here. See if we can get down to level 20. Do a bit of lateral mining. Wonderful. Good. We do need to fill that in, otherwise we will have trouble. Wow, they're growling. No, there's nothing there. <laughs> it's a slow way of doing this. But I know there are big caves under here. So the last thing I want is to mine straight down and find myself in lava. Now my... I'm getting deeper here, guys. Can you see that my 
tool is my gear is beginning to go negative Aha! Oh my word, I found my ruin again. Excellent, and you. Right, what we need here is torches. Is there any way they can get in? Yes, there is. <laughs> Yay for me. That was actually very well placed. I've been hoping to find this ruin again. Right, let's get out what I need from here. Which is all this gorgeous stone. And as you were deep drifter, mate, have you got anything for me? Flax, we'll take it. What I was really after is, of course, the stone brick. Nice. And I need to check whether there's anything on the other side of this. I don't think there is. But we'll find out anyway. Yeah. No. Good, I need a bit more. And I'd found this wonderful ruin and then I lost it. I couldn't find it through the caves, if you remember. And this is all stone path here. Wonderful, we'll have that too. That's been brilliant guys. I've got 50 full stone bricks, 15 brick stairs, four granite rock, a nine uh, stone path and four brick slabs, not to mention cobblestone et al and just granite that I got from mining. Um, now I could take out the rest of this cobble at the, but I don't need it at the moment. And this is going to make a brilliant place to go caving from. Absolutely brilliant. Now you can see that my I'm deep down, so my temporal gear is going negative. But that doesn't alter the fact <laughs> that this is a very, very good base because I could make um, a lit room down here. And it would mean that all the time that I was caving at a deep level I would have a safety zone if I want to do that there was a lot of stone in this was a very big ruin guys very big ruin um, it was almost it was almost like an underground church and there's so much basic building material here quite fantastic I'm watching my temporal gear of course as I do this Right guys, I've come down to see how my flax is getting on. Ooh, eight out of nine, look at that. Eight out of nine, that's looking good. And the temperature is plus five percent, so in here it's 12. So yeah, that's gonna be good. That's going to be very, very good. Well, that's the end of this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, leave a like, 
think about subscribing. Bye-bye.